<laughs> was it? Yeah. Hugging type of day. It's been a little bit now. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley, and I am a writer and creative artist just paving a creative life for myself. And welcome to, I think, technically week two, I guess part of week one of Preptober. Exciting stuff. So if you had watched my previous video, Prepping for Preptober, I'll link it up there if you missed it. I basically went over my plans for October and part of November, what I'm thinking for NaNoWriMo. So for this vlog, writing vlog, as I like to do on this channel, I am going to kind of go over my tips as well as my outlining goals for this month, all within that kind of vlog format. So I'm going to record stuff now, basically just talking, and then I'm going to try to insert some fun stuff, try a different kind of style for my videos. I'll experiment. It'll be fun. You'll have fun. Trust me. Heart is for fun that you will have with this. <laughs> so first things first is I have to make my NaNoWriMo project. So I've officially decided that I'm going to be continuing my writing A Dance of Shadows for this NaNoWriMo. So I will be the NaNoWriMo rebel, <laughs> as, as it were. And I'm gonna put that in there, my fancy dancy laptop. And we are just gonna go from there. So move this out of the way, go here. I'm going to switch the camera around. And you're gonna watch me do this. Please, why not? You have no choice. Lovely. Let me pull up NaNoWriMo. Are you ready to write a novel this November? Join the official NaNoWriMo challenge and create your novel today. This NaNoWriMo prep weekend, donate $30. I don't think I have $30. I'm sorry, NaNo. I wish I could. Oh my god, I love this. The, my H is like, alone. Alright, here's where my current revision is. I have gotten over 50,000 words. Honestly, I have not been even keeping up to date though with updating this. I'm kind of one of those people that uses NaNoWriMo all the time so let's go ahead and create this dance of shadows rewrite 2021 all right project status prepping uh, we'll keep it at prepping for now how much privacy you need I don't need privacy I make YouTube videos project yeah it's a novel all right on to goal Anorimo writing. Oh, I don't have a choice. That's fine. Details. Science fiction. Eh, kinda. Fantasy. Magical realism. I'm just gonna do all of it. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to. And I do not have a Pinterest or playlist. <laughs> I kind of suck at this. Project saved. Dance of Shadows. Rewrite 2021. Yay! It's official. I'm officially doing things. Yay. Okay, look at all the stuff I could go to. Writer yoga plus word sprint. Ooh. 12 to 1. What is that in central time? That's 10 to 11. Dude, I think I work that day though. I work on Thursdays. Ugh. Oh, so inconvenient to working writers. Come on, NaNoWriMo. Pep talk. I'll need a pep talk. All right. I'll give a pep talk. <laughs> How about that? All right, so future Haley coming to you now with one of the tips that I had promised at the very beginning of this video. So I wanted to do tips a little bit differently than how some other author tubers do them. And that's because I feel like I could say something very generic, like power through, just keep going, just keep writing, which is so true and valid and real. But I feel like I need to go deeper than that, you know, because personally, I am someone who has never never actually won NaNoWriMo in the traditional sense. So what I do and what I've done in the past is throughout having work, school, uh, other family obligations, things like that, it is very hard for me to get 50,000 words in a month. The most that I've gotten through NaNoWriMo has been about maybe 35,000, give or take. I'm not going to pull it up right now or anything like that. But I mean, that just goes to show that's been kind of my experience 
experience in terms of NaNoWriMo. So I can say keep pushing forward, don't let the, the fact that it's hard stop you because it is hard. And I mean, the only way that, I mean, I come back to it every year, I persevere, I try to just do a little bit better than the year before. That's just kind of how I go at it. And if I make a big chunk of progress, like even if I write 20,000 words instead of 50,000, like that's still a big chunk of a novel and you're making progress. And so that's beautiful and good. And that's all you should be trying to do. So there's always a give and a take, of course, with anything. But I felt like that was something that I wanted to preface as we get going. Second tip I have in terms of picking what you're going to be working on, make a priority list for yourself. I feel like for me, I knew off the bat that I would be writing something new this upcoming May, in May of 2022. And although I would love to write something new right now as well, I feel like I am very behind in my current work in progress and I just kind of want to power through and get those words down and just try to finish this book already. So although I'm excited for the next project and I really want to start working on something new, I gotta treat my current work in progress like something new instead. So when you're thinking about what you want to work on, Figure out what's like most important to you is coming up with something new entirely and seeing if you can write 50,000 words in a month the most important thing to you then do it like write something new take a break in your current work in progress I mean use your intuition I feel like many people myself included in the past have struggled with the fact that NaNoWriMo is very much catered towards writing out a first draft and it is hard to use that structure as well in terms of editing in editing or rewriting instead of writing a zero draft because you're inputting your word count, right? And for some people, and I'll, I'll include myself in this, some, it is very deterring to me when I don't reach a certain word count goal. So if I don't make a goal, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be kind of upset, you know? I, I'm gonna be just a little bit upset on that front because it's disappointing. And I think I struggle with goals because I want to do well and I want to like meet deadlines and everything and if I don't then I beat myself up about it. So for me personally one of my goals for NaNoWriMo this year is to really make sure that I am also taking care of myself and that I'm going to be more aware of time and my commitments especially working. Like when you're working and then you're trying to write a novel at the same time like it's very hard to find find the time for that. And then there's also just this whole thing about comparing yourselves to others. And I think as authors, we need to stop that. We need to knock it off, like, right now, please. <laughs> because there are some people who can write every day, and that's great and brilliant and good for you. And there's some people who really struggle write to write every day, and there is nothing wrong with taking a break throughout NaNoWriMo. I've needed to take breaks before, and as you're going to see in this next segment that I'm going to put in here, I'm going to show you what the tool that I'm going to be using this year, or going to be trying to use, <laughs> I should call clarify to make it easier on myself for planning out those times that I might feel a little bit too stressed out to write or a little too uninspired and so I don't really don't do anything during that time. So I'm going to be using the Heart Breathings Prep Tober Workbook and I will show you after I'm done talking here. Also, do you like the fact that I came back down here? Because it's been a hot minute since I've recorded down here and I kind of miss doing my books and everything. I'm usually just too lazy to come down and to the basement and just get the lights situated and, and everything. So let me know if you like this setup better than my other setup. Side note, I wanted to let you guys know too that me and four, yeah, four other small author tubers are going to be live streaming this upcoming Saturday. So I'm recording this segment on Friday, the 19th, no, 15th. Oh my gosh, the 15th. So not tomorrow, October 23rd, we are going to be live streaming and I'm going to be a part of that. It's going to be here on my channel. So if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and hit that little notification bell. So so that you can get that up. Also, if you just go to my channel, I think there should be a tab for live and then there's like that upcoming live stream notification thing. So then you can hit the reminder button so you don't miss out on watching us talk. And we're going to be talking about, guess what? NaNoWriMo. We're going to be talking NaNoWriMo goals, tips and tricks about what we're going to be working on, all that kind of stuff. And so I'll encourage you guys to hit that reminder bell, make sure you're signed up for that, and then to also check out those other people I'm going to be like 
live streaming with and show them some love and subscribe to their channels as well because that'd be awesome. Yeah, that's that's my <laughs> my future video, <laughs> future video bit. I'm also going to do another video on when I'm actually going to be setting up this Preptober workbook from Heart Breathings and right now she has her October writing retreat going on. I think it's today through Sunday so I'm going to be kind of going on and off with that. I signed up online and right now my goal is to prep, finish out this video, and get get a little bit of writing done and mostly just finish off my grad school list as well so as a part of that retreat. So I'll try to do some recording this weekend as well and that should be the video that comes out the week after. So if you're interested in that or like heart breathings and stuff, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. All right, so let's check out that Preptober notebook. So just to show you now, uh, this is the Preptober workbook by Heart Breathings that I downloaded. The scariest moment is always just before you start, and that's from Stephen King. So basically, there is a bunch of stuff to do. Tools, prep your plan, word count goals, deciding rewards. She even has a meal planner in here, so if you're unfamiliar with Heart Breathings or interested in getting this, uh, go over to her channel. I will link her below. But yeah, yeah, so here's mark off any days this month you won't be able to write. And so here's that calendar. So she has Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday up there. Uh, word target word count and a bunch of different things so you can track how you're going. NaNoWriMo 2021. Oh, and then for sprints as well. So you can do as many sprints as you want in a day. Today's to total, monthly total. And she has a bunch of pages like that. And then rewards. What rewards? Just right. I believe in myself. Do do do. Tools, meal planner. I probably won't use that to be honest. It's it's hard for me to meal prep at home. Weekly schedule. I might use this definitely. I think that would be really helpful to block out time, especially when I'm working. <laughs> Oh, and then she has a meal plan too and schedule for week two. So it's by the week, which I think is really nice because then you can kind of block it off as you get to each week as well. You don't have to do it full on in, in advance, which I think is really helpful. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting my channel. I cannot believe for my life that I have over 100 subscribers now. Thank you guys so much. And I'm so excited for what's going to be coming next onto my channel. Remember, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out and leave this video a big thumbs up if you made it all the way to the end and enjoyed what you saw today. I will catch you all next week for that live stream, so make sure your reminders are on, and I will catch you all then. Bye! Oh, that's not stuff. Like, you walk into a speaking dog.